Welcome to my world. 
put him in here. Yeah, he, there he is. That is Michael no, Lind. I got it wrong again. <laughs> As usual. Hey, Michael, how are you? <laughs> uh, thank you. I'm good. Uh, how are you doing? Bad people are always good, you know. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't really nervous, but uh, that intro was so cool. And, uh, it was five minutes long and my nerves just started to... To vibrate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really cool, really cool. Yeah, um, I will have to change the intro a little bit because I had some some really cool other guests since I produced that intro video. There was uh, Steve Lynch. There was uh, there were so many good people in there, yeah. including you. I will take you also in there, but that's not the theme for today. The theme for today is why are you wearing a beard? Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> well, actually, when I was younger, I really thought that I couldn't grow a beard. And uh, uh, when I was younger, also, my beard was really red. Uh, and I, was, oh, okay. I, I think I spotted at least one gray hair the other day. And. Um, <laughs> Well, when I started to grow it out a little, uh, then I shaved it off and then I thought that I looked like a complete baby. So um, I had to <laughs> grow it back again. And then I'm a lazy guy. So usually I shaved once a week and then it went two weeks and with time it grew and uh, I kind of got used to it. So now I have a beard. And yeah, like and and as we told um, a few minutes before, it's an absolute cool trend at the moment to wear a big beard. And I'm still yeah. growing. I'm working on it. As you can see, it doesn't work, but I'm. I can promise I will work further on this. <laughs> yeah, soon you can have a like a, 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 be a beard. like a Viking beard. <laughs> yeah, the braids. Yeah, I tried that, but it, it didn't work for me. It, it hurts. But I did get oh, okay. some uh, Christmas ornaments last Christmas. Uh, little, uh, like you put glitter the trees. No, the the, the, the small um, uh, Christmas decorations. The the the, mo the bells, the marbles. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So you can hang them in your beard. Oh, that's cool. I will try that out. It's only five, six months, seven months to Christmas, so I have to yeah. prepare that. But first, I'm sure. <laughs> first, it's summer. I think. Uh, yes, the summers, the summer has switched on here in Germany from one day to another. And I'm sure mm -hmm. in September it will switch back to to deep winter <laughs> as usual. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, actually, I I, uh, I bathed in the in the sea yesterday. And oh, it was, OK. It was quite OK in the at, not no, the what is it? Is it's the Northern Sea outside us? Yeah, I think for us it's it's the Northern Sea. Yeah, it's the same sea. We're just on different sides. Um, yes, uh, you know, different sides. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that way. Always the same, always the same problem. Yeah. And when you are not uh, working on your beard, you're working on some music. I heard. Yeah. Uh, I do actually on my spare time. Um, I have a day job um, and I have kids, so that takes a lot of mm -hmm. time. But um, on the evenings and weekends, um, I work on music and I've been doing that for a long time. Um, I think I started to write songs about 91 uh, mm, okay. when I was born, of course. Uh, yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I'm a young guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we won't tell anybody. <laughs> no, but uh, in the beginning, I, I actually well, I, I played the piano when I was when I was a kid, and um, mm -hmm. uh, when I was about I think uh, twenty, I got my first electric guitar, and then I bought mm -hmm. a, a synthesizer, and mainly because I wanted to program. Uh, backgrounds to play guitar over but uh, i'm not that good a guitar player but that's what i wanted to do and when i bought the synthesizer a friend of mine uh, who played in a band he asked if i wanted to join and mm -hmm. uh, so i did and uh, we, we made our own music in the beginning but after a while we became a cover band uh, specializing mm -hmm. in uh, 
Swedish hits and hard rock hits mm -hmm. was our thing. ABBA playing ABBA hits. <laughs> well, we played um, um, uh, that's uh, the, the Mamma Mia. We played, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Some sort of, but everything we did had a heavy bottom. It, because its of, own flair, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, our guitarists don't know how to turn off the distortion, so uh, everything. Um, yeah, heavy. yeah. I know those uh, distortion pedals you buy from Thoman. Yeah. And um, I see a lot of those pedals don't have switches. So excuse us, guitar players. <laughs> we would like to switch it off, but there's no possibility no uh, you know I so have sorry i have distor <laughs> i have a distortion on my organ as well so uh, so you see you it's go. necessary yeah distortion it's is all, yeah it's lovely and feedback i love feedback yeah 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 but that's pretty hard to get a feedback when you're working i guess you're working on the most of the time on the <clears throat> sequencer program so well, are you recording your your guitar stuff or something how, how how is your way to make um the first steps for your songs yeah my workflow is um earlier it's always started with uh, i came up with a riff on the guitar the electric guitar or a cool synth sound that inspired me to do something uh and then i tried to write something from that and in the beginning it was always instrumental music uh, with mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i often got told that it sounded like uh, film music ah okay and then mm -hmm. just uh, a few years back i started to develop that and try to add a, a verse and a chorus and i i, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't mm -hmm. understand how you did it but uh eventually it came it started to 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 appear and, and i just listened over and over in in the car and i started to hum along and all of a sudden i hummed the same thing again mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and then the words come last but um that was not your question uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no worries <laughs> but not nowadays i i have two ways now so uh either i try to compose something on the piano just starting with uh, deciding a key and a chord sequence and then I, I try to play that over and over and then I start to figure out a melody and uh, not so many words in the beginning and then I try to add the different instruments and it, mm -hmm. I don't really have a genre I mean most most of the music I have made so far is rock and metal but uh, there will mm -hmm. be acoustic and uh, I will try to do a collab with a rapper perhaps and so so mm -hmm. I, I just I just want to write what I feel for the day and, and what what inspires me in this song uh, but then I usually I record uh, the guitars uh, acoustic and electrics uh, mm -hmm. and when I record the guitars I'm usually at my summer house and there I have mm -hmm. a, a mm -hmm. uh, it's a 4 by 12 uh, speaker mm, cabinet mm. yeah so so I can play that loud and uh, I can actually get the feedback there. And okay. I, and I, I play the bass, but I don't play uh, bass so well. So, but I, I do that as well. And and then I leave it to a better musician to re replace the parts. And uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I always want them to don't play exactly what I did, but tighter. But add your your expertise into mm -hmm. it. And when they do that, it becomes like. Um, writing songs in a group together because everyone brings their own flair mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and the see, music yeah. just grows so so it's pretty cool but usually uh, i replace my electric guitars but i keep the little parts that require feedback because most of the guys i work with they do they, they uh, plug in their guitar and line yeah, them, so, yeah, so they can't yeah. do feedback so so i mix i keep that part maybe mm -hmm. just a power chord that Feeds. that's a that's a cool decision absolutely yeah. it makes it more alive i guess yeah and also in in the credits i can write electric guitars my own name at the <laughs> why not yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you initiate all that then you you record a template let let us call it template you bounce it into one track and then you send it on the way or you send um one folder with um multi-track in there and everyone grabs it and does his work that's pretty cool yeah um 
f from the beginning, uh, I was uh, actually waiting for my bandmates to do their parts, their instruments, mm. uh, but uh, they didn't really have the time. So after a while, mm -hmm. I got tired of waiting and uh, I went looking on Fiverr. And then I found mm -hmm. a bunch of guitarists mm -hmm. and bass players mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and singers. And I tried several out. Uh, some of them I didn't keep because they were good, but it didn't right really fit the song. Mm -hmm. And then uh, mm -hmm. others were just brilliant. And, uh, and, uh, and now when I write the songs, I usually have someone in mind. I think this one, uh, mm -hmm. Tom mm -hmm. should sing this one. And I think that uh, Kiran from India, he will play guitar on this because he's so awesome. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, a different bass player. I have one bass player I want to go to when it's acoustic. Uh, another one that uh, did, uh, uh, for example, Strangers and Kind, and he's just brilliant. Mar Marcin Palide from Poland. Uh, mm -hmm. When I got mm -hmm. his track back, I, I, I listened to the isolated bass, and I thought, but where is the root note? It, it just sounded it sounded really oh, float strange. floating around the root yeah, note. <laughs> I thought, oh, this is never going to work. But when I put it together, it's just brilliant because he knows how to build the song with the bass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and I like mm -hmm. to turn the bass up. I want it to be loud and, and to present it, yeah, to present it yeah. yeah in your face. I like mm -hmm. it. Cool. But I want everything louder than everything else. So that's a problem. That's a matter of your headphone. You know the headphone. <laughs> yeah, the headphone. Yeah, you yeah. should do that. You, you should do Michael that. just Michael just asked me why I don't uh, wear my head. It's because of the of the earbuds. It does not fit, so I have to develop a headphone. Hmm. Yeah, I will, I will do it. that. Yeah, I will buy it. Absolutely. Okay, I, I put it in my merch store for yeah. sure, <laughs> and develop something in this in this way. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Yeah, Michael, should we have a listen to to the video? Why Michael was so kind to send me um, two videos for this show, and one of these videos is named "Strangers Unkind." It's a lyrics video. Would you maybe tell a little bit about that, or should we first start to listen? Well, um, I think if we start the other way around, we start with fly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I, I will tell you a little a bit about how uh, that came about and the process of making it, uh, and how it sounded kind of in the beginning when I wrote it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then we can show uh, the, the fly video as the finished product. This is how it turned yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. So, um, That's a cool thing. Yeah. So that was a, a, a new thing for me. Uh, it, it was the first song that I wrote on the piano i just decided on a key uh, and i think i started with c major uh, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. i ended up somewhere else a and then i just choose four or five chords and i try to to limit it to that and then i wrote a s really simple melody on the piano mm -hmm. and then i added some chords and i ex exchanged some chord and i ended up with a lot of chords <laughs> <laughs> And uh, then I listened to it in the car over and over when I uh, commuted to work. And the melody uh, started to grow and, and then the words came. And um, so I s I I'm just going to play a little bit of it for you, how it sounded in the beginning. It started with uh, a simple intro, if I can play this. Uh, you know I'm a bit nervous about this, but um, we'll see. You don't have to be. Yeah. So I started with a little intro that went something like, Oh, I'm afraid we, we don't hear it. You don't hear it? No, we don't hear it. At all? Unfortunately, not. Okay. We but hear you. But you did when we tried it out. That's strange. Yeah. Let's see. That's strange. You can't hear it at all. Oops. No. No. All right. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately not. That didn't fly. But... Uh, <laughs> Murphy's so, Law. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, but but what was what was what I was going <coughs> to say was that uh, I started with a simple piano arrangement, 
and then I uh, I wanted to do to do um, a sort of metal version of that one. So I, I really toned mm -hmm. down the piano and and just played the simple chords uh, one at a time. Uh, and uh, I added some uh, effects like a, a, a drum loop in the beginning that's uh, filtered. Okay. So mm -hmm. so in the mm -hmm. beginning it's just sort of something moving in the background and then as i mm -hmm, open the mm -hmm. filter up you can mm -hmm. hear the the, mm -hmm. the snare drum from it and in the second verse the acoustic drummer enters and it becomes a more of a live song and for the chorus we added the distorted guitars as well so um do you have a chance uh do you have speakers on that on that keyboard yeah we do then I we can hear it I just have to reroute it then. Just a second. Yeah, that's not the problem. In between, I will make a little advertise because York's World, my radio show, will start again or will continue next week and we'll have nice radio plays on Surgery Records Radio. We'll have the International Radio Deutschland in Romania. We'll have the Euro Indie Music Network that's broadcasting via satellite all over Europe. We'll have Power Plant Radio from Canada. And on Sundays, always on Sundays, there will be my radio show on the plutoradio.com. So please don't miss it. It starts, it restarts next week because I had um, a little break but it will start soon. So Michael is back. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's going to sound a bit crazy now, I think, because this is uh, not a good keyboard monitor, but let, let me try it out. Well, hmm, I think the problem is in my end. Well, I have a suggestion, Jorg. Uh, yeah. Why don't we watch the finished product now while okay. I try to get back the sound from that one? The fly video. No, it's not okay. the fly. We do the strangers unkind. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> we do fly, but it's not the yeah, fly. Not the fly. No. We know the movie that's <laughs> it, it, um, about fly. the fly. <laughs> yeah. Disgusting movie. <laughs> but pretty cool. Okay. When you are ready, I'll start. Yes, I'm ready. Fly. <laughs> In a lonely place A thousand scars behind your eyes So blue and bright The tired smile Just for a while So out of place You cannot hide the tears you cry Your heavy heart So torn apart Your darkest fears come out at night When you're alone A flower child You're a spirit wild and free at heart Have you forgotten who you are?
strangest touch A chance to come alive again Just for a while But the world's alive There's a rising tide So hard to fight As you give in your whole at last But you Absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you. I would also like to say uh, thank you to Holly Ray and uh, Karin Schmidt. Uh, I'm really glad you liked it. Yeah, a lot of people like your music and I was absolute amazed when I got <coughs> your songs referred by Mary Wood and it was so great. I had to listen to it. I had to look at the, at the stream, at the audiogram in there and everything was pretty okay and it sounded good and it was really loud and nice compressed and so did you learn that in school maybe or did you do an engineering school or something no actually um just as uh, i i uh, uh, i'm using uh, uh, i like to to make the songs perform above my standards so if i write a riff on the guitar I want the mm -hmm. guitarist to play it better than I can. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and the same goes for, I make a pretty good premix, but I leave mm -hmm. the last mm -hmm. part to, uh, so far this guy in Iceland that I have been using also found him on Fiverr. And mm -hmm. he, he's, he, he's <coughs> great and very committed and friendly. And I think he does great mixes. We Absolutely. send them back and forth a couple of times. Uh, and then they turn out really, really well. Because I don't understand, or I don't have the the nerve. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have the energy to learn about compression and equalization. And mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. when I when I turn the knobs on the equalizer, uh, I don't really hear what sounds better. I, I don't think so, at least. So I mm -hmm, prefer mm -hmm. to leave that last part to the professional and especially that <coughs> technical part uh, matching the levels. And so I it's good to let someone who's better do that as well. I could do them myself, but they would be sure, yeah. less good. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you could do, but I know from myself it needs a lot of time and needs a lot of patience only to check what a multi-band compressor does and so on and so on. Yeah, yeah. So if you that, if you I want to concentrate on the music, it's exactly, better to give it away. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't I don't feel I have the the time to to learn that to that level mm. that I, that I would like to master it. But so so I I just. The premixes I make, they are pretty good uh, and they show where I want things. But then this guy, Daniel, he also, mm -hmm. he, he takes liberties <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> uh, and for, for Fly, for instance, he removed uh, some parts. And I first mm -hmm. I thought, mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't like that. And then I realized that it was, uh, it was a good idea. And so, some other times... Um, he removed that uh, uh, drum loop in the intro, for instance, mm -hmm, and I, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. wanted him to put that back. And, and then, then, then we meet somewhere along the ride. But what he did for Fly, for instance, I had that disturbing synth sound in the beginning. It's meant mm -hmm. to convey a sort of feel feeling of unease and loneliness. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and he just turned it way up, much louder than I had. And and so it became even more disturbing, and and that was really cool. And also he he, he lifts up he lifts up parts sometimes that that uh, that are there, but he accentuates them. So so he's also like a musician, but he plays with the mm -hmm. faders. Mm -hmm. yeah, cool yeah, yeah, well. yeah. Also an artist. Yeah. So I, I'm fortunate to work with very very talented people, uh, and also it seems I yeah. can choose them. <laughs> <laughs> and the compositions you do, I can tell you, they are really cool. Thank For you. me, that are really great. Thank you. That means a lot. I really. Like Did you make the thing work? Uh, Did you thing? make the piano oh. work? <laughs> what thing? <laughs> <laughs> I, I already forgot that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Spare it for the campfires. <laughs> yeah, but 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 what? Um, sure, I, I can play it in in the speaker. I don't know how the volume is. So Could be a little bit more. You know, more is better always. Yeah. You, th you know, the, th the, thing, the thing is, uh, this microphone is directed to me, so maybe if I turn it around. Uh, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Much more. So I did the intro. <laughs> okay. Actually, when I played it the last time, there was no errors, but now I will do it with errors, so you know. Okay. Okay. If I can remember it. So... When I started the song, it was it was more like arranged like this. I can't sing now because uh, the microphone is turned away, so that's good. I have to get my piece of paper here and see. Uh, yes. That was the way it sounded in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and actually, I did record that version as well. So, uh, because this, this was uh, a blank slate for me, I, I had just the piano and the vocals uh, and the lyrics, but I didn't know how to arrange it. So, mm -hmm. I made this mm -hmm. version with that kind of piano basement uh, based on the piano. <laughs> the basics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we added acoustic guitars, electric guitars, hammered organ and strings, and a different mm -hmm. singer who sang it. So that also turned out to be a pretty cool version, but it, it's the same song, but it sounds completely different. So yeah. I couldn't release both at the same time. Uh, so I probably will release that as Fly Again on the anniversary or something, because it, it's, uh, I think, 
everybody did an amazing job on that one as well. So it, it would be a shame not to use Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, you can you can publish <clears throat> it as a fly to or make a special version of that or make a club mix. Yeah, I, I was or something fly <laughs> again. Hmm? Fly that? again. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> it's in the lyrics. <laughs> So the, the question about um, a disturbing fly is off the table then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, so, um, yeah, sure. And where can we find your music? Well, you can find it on uh, most of the streaming platforms like uh, Spotify. Uh, it's on SoundCloud, uh, Apple Music. Uh, I believe it's on uh, Amazon as well and YouTube. Um, and then you, if you want to buy it, yeah, please do. Uh, then you would go to Bandcamp. Uh, they can actually ah, buy okay. it. And, and um, that's pretty cool. I had one sale on Bandcamp so far. So. Um, oh, you lucky one. You yeah. damn lucky. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, actually, that, that's kind of cool. If you're watching this, uh, Kigli, uh, I really appreciate the T-shirt. She had a contest. And I won uh, her T-shirt, Keely Fleming. She's an indie artist, very talented. Okay. So I posted um, uh, on uh, Instagram myself wearing that T-shirt. looks awesome. Uh, and then uh, she actually bought one of my songs. That's very much appreciated. Yeah, that's, that's so cool. Yeah, it's I'm artists. just typing, yeah, just typing it's a little uh, banner that, that our watchers can have a look at it. Yeah. It's art. Don't 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 be disturbed. Artists. No, no, I'm not disturbed. If you stop talking, I can talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. <laughs> so yeah, um, but uh, on uh, social media, you can find me as uh, the blindfold experience in one word. Uh, Holy Ray, I will answer that very soon. Um, and I think in most places it, it is the blindfold experience, except. For Twitter, uh, then it's the blindfold X one, and also um, there's a website, but I haven't really. I need to update that one. It's it's a bit uh, older. It's uh, yeah, it's lacking. No, well, I haven't updated. I haven't uploaded the new uh, the lyrics to the new songs. But you're supposed to be able to read about the artists uh, that are contributing to the songs, and and the lyrics are there, and links to whatever media and. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and that is the blindfoldexperience.com. And Holly Ray, well, okay, that's easy. Um, that's a good question, Holly. Uh, I think when I can afford it, I would really like to make hard copies and uh, I would love to make a vinyl as well. But at the moment, uh, I, I can't really afford it. But um, eventually, I'll get there because I, I really love the feeling of, of having. Mm, something to hold some physical hand. stuff in yeah, yeah, I, yeah I know what you yeah. mean yeah and how about a vinyl an lp huh <laughs> yeah i just had a look for um making vinyl um discs the, the the thing is i was doing it as a service a few years ago 15 years ago or so mm -hmm. and <clears throat> there you had to to decide if you have the CD for, I don't know, for about four, four euros in, in, in getting it and the vinyl for around six euro per piece in a, in a thousand a thing or so. Mm. And nowadays <clears throat> you must, you must calculate to buy it for around 10 or 12 euros for you as an artist. So you will need the, the, the covers. You need the, uh, yeah, you know, everything around that, including the shipping and so on and so on. And yeah. so I think it's necessary to have the support of you out there. Yes. So when we all we will have some support from you, we can do such physical copies much easier. Yeah. Holly Ray says vinyl would rock. I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. Here she is. Vinyl rocks, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, can I have a turntable. <laughs> I also own a turn turn turntable. Yeah. It's in the in the basement, but I think the the belt is a little bit too old 
to drive it, but I will look for a replacement. Yeah. Vinyl rocks, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I, I have the vinyl play player out uh, at, at the summer house. Uh, there's a problem, though, the, because I, I don't know if the, um, uh, the sockets in the wall, if they are not uh, grounded, because there is a harmony. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. so um, I don't really listen to it, but I've kept all my old, you know, the DU and Accept and... ICDC. ACDC, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. We, we had them all. Yeah. No, uh, we didn't have them because we are much too young to own. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> know what you're talking about. What is vinyl? <laughs> Who the heck is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's, yeah, that's what's so cool. CD? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the, the problem really is vinyl. I think you, you, you or we could sell a few of, but for cds it's hard to find uh bias <laughs> <laughs> yeah holy, do holy you ray. laugh at us <laughs> holy ray is on fire tonight yeah that's cool yeah it seems <laughs> it's good 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 to have um have some people watching very yeah, much appreciated yeah. it's not that much but i think we'll have some more reviews then um, for you out there, you'll find the the replay a few minutes after we finished here in my um, YouTube account for free to watch. And you can also watch it in my Facebook group in the York's World Alive, powered by Concerti da Libano. It's a private group, so you have to ask me if you can come in. That should be okay. Um, um, what else to say? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I can see you have a guitar standing behind you. Is it only a, a decoration? No, no. Uh, actually, um, well, the last year or two years, I have the, the acoustic guitar has actually been my favorite instrument to go to. Okay. Um, and pick up because it, it's so easy. You, you can just put it in your lap. And, yeah, and you grab it and play. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I mean, I try to have the keyboard set up so I can just sit down and play. But uh, actually, I, I'm I'm a bit disappointed every time I play the keyboard because I haven't played so much in the fa past few years, so I can't play at mm -hmm. the level I ex expect to play. So I'm always disappointed, <laughs> and then I just leave it. But. Uh, <laughs> That's a new thing for me. Uh, the new songs I'm writing, I'm actually starting out on um, on the acoustic. So I, I'm, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, please. There are so many chords everywhere. So we'll um, yes, I know that problem. I know exactly what you mean. It sound. It always looks so cool from from your sofa at home. But here we have. So I have standing here a mixing console, a second monitor, a keyboard, cords everywhere, a microphone, and so on and so on. So it looks uh, more easier than it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, uh, this is kind of uh, interesting for me because because uh, I never wrote a song on the acoustic guitar, but. I was just noodling around and I, I started to do this. And I thought it was kind of nice, but the C major chord is it's a bit cheesy. So I yeah. changed it around to the C major minor and I thought it was better like this. I like yeah. dynamics, so um, uh, for the first verse, it's going to go really soft. With uh, just um, the bass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we enter the uh, hi-hat.
got to have a descending bass line, so that's the pre-chorus. And then we go to a very cheerful chorus. guitar uh, or the electric guitars come in and um we finish with the Beatles chord mm -hmm. F major <laughs> uh, F minor yeah, minor to major <laughs> yeah I love that um, it's been used a million times and then I finally absolutely found for the, the thing I started with this one So, and then we just around the, the C major seven. Yeah. And then, um, so that's actually pretty far gone. And I just uh, talked with um, uh, actually a friend here in Sweden. I'm going to set the mic up again. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You should know that this guitar and this microphone is a perfect match. It sounds really, really absolute amazing. That's cool because uh, I was actually thinking this time. I, I will record the acoustic guitar myself and not because uh, I want to be a part of it a bit more than mm -hmm. the keyboard mm -hmm. for this mm -hmm. one. Um, so that's good to hear. And uh, I think it's a fish. It's uh, from Czechoslovakia, I think. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and I think, yeah. Audio Deutschkraft. So that's, that's from Germany. Um, it seems so. It sounded so. Yeah. Yeah. Ger German. <laughs> German quality, you know. Quality. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Out German quality. So, but um, really, in, indeed, it's really beautiful. It's a beautiful sound. I would use exactly this microphone and this guitar. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Very cool. So, w this song, I, I'm thinking it is an acoustic song, uh, but it won't be. Uh, but I'll probably, uh, I want to start it as an acoustic and then uh, have drums that sound very acoustic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, for, f for the end of the first chorus, the electric guitars enter. And from then mm -hmm. on, they take over more and more. And for, for the last chorus, so I want it to be like a rocket. It's going to build up yeah, no, yeah. That, way, that way. Like a, like a yeah. curve <laughs> going on. Yeah. So it just builds and builds. And, and for the, yeah, no, <laughs> that's impossible. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Holly. Is it all right if I call you? You are uh, faster than me. Damn. Yeah, yeah, but you can see it in the in, beautiful. In, um, yeah, in here it is. Yeah. Yeah. Very much. Uh, my 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 interface uh, view is a little bit different. I have here the comments from the from the people. I have the banners. I have the brands. I have the private chat. The settings. Blah, 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 blah. It's a little bit different, and I just opened the tab with uh, videos in it. That's so if you want oh, to... the tab, the tab. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't catch that first. Yeah, I'm always um, jumping around, searching for words. And uh, um, seems the people like to be, um, to be introduced and to be managed and moderated in worst German sounding English and hey, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> no, I, I don't agree. I, I think actually you, you, your English is very good. So when, when you said that, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I was watching that show with um, with, with um, uh, with all those Italian people, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the mm -hmm. 30 seconds to answer the question. <laughs> it mm -hmm. must have been mm -hmm. very stressful. Our new show. <laughs> yeah. And, and then you said, I don't understand the word, uh, and I was actually surprised because your English is very good. So um. that was the embarrassing. I learned that word because yeah. I use it a lot in the last time, <laughs> yeah. talking about other musicians and so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, anyway, that song is uh, actually going to. It's the one that has gotten the first, far, furthest so far. And, um, the third, that's the third, that's uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and and um, yes. 
Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, the um, what is interesting is that when I have released these first songs, uh, it opens up doors for collaborations. So uh, I think mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the new songs that I'm working on, I, I still have two to to finish on 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 the EP from from before. Uh, and that's actually an acoustic version of Fly and uh, an instrumental metal song that I wrote in 91. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, um, uh, well... Before you, before you was born. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a comment from uh, Holly again. To you. I should have a look at that. Yeah. And um, so the new album should be a lot of... Um, Namaste. Collaborations. Actually, yeah, but, and uh, I found I, I, out I, I, that net networking is the word for yeah. nowadays. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's exciting. Uh, and uh, as you heard, that that song is it's not as dark. Uh, I try to make it mm -hmm. more depressing mm -hmm. by removing the major thirds and and so on. But it, it still sounds pretty cheerful. But I, maybe I can make it depressing lyrics wise. I don't know. But Drink it, more alcohol. Yeah. It will be cool <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Um, I think we're running out of time or. If you if you want to tell us maybe your yeah, the, the message of your general artwork, do you have a message in there? Do you want to tell a message? Well, uh, not always it, it, sometimes it's it's just uh, it, it's just a, so a story uh, uh it could be uh, related to me or just someone i heard of or, or something i read or, or uh, and also it's it's usually a mix you know so but uh for fly perhaps i could say the message is that well it may feel like it's hopeless but eventually it will get better that was actually the message with the song mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so you will fly again that one has a message absolutely mm -hmm. and strong then, um, words yeah sure uh, well i don't know <laughs> but um the next one that we uh, are going to play uh, the lyric video for that's actually a premiere for the lyrics video for this one uh it's also As you told. An, um, it, it's Thank you, Holly. Good to have you. Thank you both. <laughs> <laughs> but don't leave now because there will come a great video premiere. Yeah, it's a premiere. Listen to that now. guy. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the first time actually that we show it. Uh, it's uh, Strangers Unkind and that is basically about uh, relationships going south. And uh, well, yeah, you can't reverse uh, the negative trend and it's bound to go to i'm not going to say any words there. um to help yep yeah yep 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 oops <laughs> <laughs> well you can say it your 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 uh, i'm the host and i'm the guy with the button i can yeah yeah <laughs> if i say it you will kick me out i bet um exactly <laughs> so um um sh just a short uh, backstory on that song is also i wrote it a long time ago it was the riff was originally inspired by uh, metallic and megadeth uh, mm -hmm. and then several years later i started to expand it and added the the verse and the chorus uh, and so it turned out to to a new song uh, and uh, for this one i used uh, th this one actually i i i couldn't play the uh, uh, acoustic guitar riff it's it's pretty hard for me to reach so mm, I, okay. I, I, pl I played it on midi keyboard mm -hmm. I, I figured it out on the guitar but i could just go bling, plong, ding, oh. I, I wanted to step, to step. <laughs> yeah but i couldn't play it so so um so i, I used midi and then i contacted this guy from uh, brazil uh, Ariel Delgado and he is an amazing musician and I don't know how but he plays everything that I I asked him I played this on MIDI can you play it as a human sure and he just does it so that <laughs> I, I really like that and that was actually a big part of the song in the beginning 
Uh, and then uh, one more thing I have to say. I, I used a singer called uh, Thomas Baptista for this, and he is just mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. But also, in all three songs I have released, I have a guy called uh, Jamie um, mm -hmm. from uh, from the UK, and he does. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I want I wanted him to do the background vocals for for all these three songs because he he mm -hmm. is brilliant. And when combined with Tom, uh, that's an explosive mic mix. And um, uh, Jamie also does screaming. So take a listen to, uh, to uh, the pre-chorus. When Jamie screams mm -hmm. and uh, Thomas sings, the mixture of them, those two together, I think it's just turned out so well. So Making goosebumps. Yeah, for me at least, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm really curious to watch and hear. So I would say we're going to wait for your EP or for your long play or for the songs that have to come. When you're ready, send me your songs for radio play. Sure. And I guess we'll meet again here in a, in a small streaming band to introduce your artwork to the people. Yeah, and I have to say thank you, thank you, thank you well, for your time, for being here. I have to say thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for letting me ramble on about myself again. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, it's an honor. I, I really appreciate uh, both the radio show and, and this. So thank you, George. Thank you. And thank you, Mary, yeah. for introducing us. Really much appreciated. That. Yeah, and, and big Big thanks, big greets, big hugs to Mary Wood in Virginia. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, Michael, you'll stay in here. We'll show Strangers Unkind now to the people. I hope many, many, many of you will watch the replay of the video. I will post the hell out of it. And Michael <laughs> also, I think he'll do. Yeah. And hope to see you back next week where we have another great independent artist. So be surprised. I start the advertising tomorrow for the next Sunday show. And don't forget, get your tickets for that on Eventbrite. That's maybe a thing I, I should explain a bit. I'm forced um, to limit the watchers to 500 people because I'm working here in Germany. And when I when I'm able to reach more than 500 people, I need to have a broadcasting license. And you know, I'm doing everything here for free. And sorry, I don't have the money for that. So you have to go to Eventbrite, get your ticket there. It's a free ticket, of course. And in the ticket, you find the YouTube link, you find the my group link on Facebook and everything else. So. I guess now it's explained why you need tickets for this show. So thank you, take care, and hope to see you back. Have a good week and bye bye. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh.
Strangers are kind.